Okay, well, welcome to Analytical Algebra's Distance Learning Module. So when you go to the course page, this will be your new homepage, um, as I wanted to make this easy to navigate. So basically, you are going uh, to do one thing between now and spring break in this class, and you could do it at any point in time. Uh, as long as you get it done before spring break. Uh, and so here's the one thing. It's a stock activity. I mentioned this before. But you're going to click on that, and that's going to take you to this module here. And so uh, you're going to click on the stock market game, and it does say here there is a password. Uh, Arizona is going to be the password to get in the game. So we click on the stock market game, and it's going to take you to Grule, um Analytical Algebra, so Grule AA. Uh, this is a private game between you guys and um, Miss Siebert's one class she has. So all you do is click Join Game, and when you click Join Game, it's going to have you create an account. Not a member, register here. You're going to click Register, and you're going to set this up. I'll do this fast. Email, I'm just gonna use my school email. And then you don't probably want to get updates from the Dow Jones and stuff like that. You want to click you're not a robot and hit submit. Okay, so once you get registered, we're gonna sign in. You might have to send a verification email, apparently. And you're gonna have to verify that. So go to your email and verify that. Once it's verified, then you can go to the sign in. Sorry for all these steps. You only have to do this once. See if we finally have access to the game. Welcome and thank you for signing up. Great. In the top left hand corner, you're going to see these little lines up here, and you're going to click virtual a stock exchange. Um, find a game, I guess. This is not really working. I'm going to type in Guru Lay, G U R U. And you should see Guru Lay pretty quickly. Guru Lay AA. Perfect. There is my game. I'm going to click on it. And we're going to join this game. It's going to ask for the password. The password is Arizona. Now be careful because your keyboard will want to automatically capitalize the first letter. So you'll want to make that lowercase, then sign in. Um, okay. Make sure that it says Arizona, no space afterwards, and we're going to join this game. Great, we joined the game. So now we're gonna choose some stocks. You get $100,000 to spend on five stocks. And since they all have to be of equal value, um, $100,000 divided by five is $20,000 uh, each. So we're gonna buy, pick five stocks and spend $20,000 worth of stock or buy twenty thousand dollars worth of stocks so you want to pick stocks that you like that you wear that you whatever it is that you you know some sort of tie to that company it could be a, the car you drive the cologne you wear the products you use whatever so i really like uh, Tesla, so I'm, I don't drive a Tesla, but I really like Tesla. So if I want to get Tesla, I just start typing in Tesla and you'll see it comes up and I click trade. When the trade comes up, you're going to see this um, screen come up. Now I want to purchase the number of shares that allows me to spend 20000 So at the bottom, where it says total down here, 
Here's where it says total. We want to get that as close to 20,000 as possible, if not like a little bit less, the 19,999 or something. But you take the little dragger and you just drag it until, whoa, oh, too far. And so you want to get it to where it's just one less than 20,000. I could probably buy one more. Let's get to 44 shares. There you go. So the total is just below 20,000. And so I'm good. I can submit that order and I can buy. Now I'm done with one and I, I wanted to keep doing it. And you want to keep doing that again and again. So let's say, for example, you like Apple. You want to get stock in Apple. So I just start typing in Apple and it's going to come up. There's Apple and I click trade and you do exactly the same thing. Scroll down a little bit so you can see the total. Here's the total here at the bottom. We want that to be as close to 20,000. So I click and I drag. It'll let me, there you go. Uh, and I want to get just below 20,000. Maybe right there. Perfect. Turns out that that's 82 shares uh, because it's $242 per share. You can get 82 shares for that $20,000. Submit order. And then I can click close out. And you're going to do that three more times until when you scroll down, or actually when you click on your portfolio at the top, you'll scroll down and you'll see your five stocks. Now, depending on when you do this, if it's not between 9.30 and 4.30, it, it'll be pending because the stock market is only open between 9.30 and 4.30, Monday through Friday. So, and it takes a few minutes to update, like it doesn't, necessarily do it right away but if you're buying this after hours like after 4 30 p.m or before 9 30 um, it's going to put it pending until the stock market opens once it opens then it will um buy the stocks for you now once you have all five stocks you're going to go back to canvas and right here where it says the stock activity you can click on the stock activity uh, and there's where you submit it. You click there where it says here uh, and that's where you're gonna submit the assignment when you're done, it's Tuesday, Friday, March 27th. The stock activity is this page here. Uh, you're gonna write the company's name down. You're gonna do this for every comp for all five companies that you do. The full company name, the stock symbol, the current price which for apple was like 221 or something like that or 241 242 dollars and 21 cents or something so you put that there if you spend twenty thousand dollars on investing in stock how many shares would you allow to buy and i think for apple it was like 82 shares or something now when you're trying to find the trends for this um that is a good place to, we can go anywhere any stock market app I uh, can show you that, but one of the things that uh, this can show you is like if you choose one of your stocks, like for example Tesla, I can click on it, and then and up here in the blue, I can select what the one month trend is, and it will tell you the one month trend. It's it's down uh, forty four point three seven percent. So I would go back here and for for one month I put 44 point whatever negative 44 point whatever percent uh, trend and so the other one's one day so here's one day uh, it tells you um, well I guess it doesn't tell you the one day but the one day will be at the top where the where the price is uh, so in one day it was down 18.58 percent here at the top you can see this at the top there and then it has for one year trend. So you just click here and go one year. It also says down here, one year trend. It is up 65% in the last year, which is really good seeing how it lost 44% the last month. Um, and then what you're gonna do, the last thing that you need here is a one year stock graph. So when you go to click on Tesla, oh, Tesla, the one year, this is the one year stock graph right here. Uh, 
So you just screenshot this and then crop it out so that you just see the graph. And then you'll come over here and you'll paste this. Now this will all be in Notability, so you can just paste it in there. The 52 week high and low uh, is also here. If you scroll down, you'll see 52 week high is, looks like it's 494, it's right here. Not no, these ones. 52 week uh, high, or that's the day, sorry. 52 week high is over here, uh, 968.99. And the uh, 52 week low is down here at 176, down here, 176.99. Um, and then the last thing that you'll do here is write down why you purchased that stock. So why did you choose Tesla? Why did you choose Apple? Some of you guys I talked to about um, like I, I bought I bought stock in uh, Procter and Gamble because Procter and Gamble makes Purell, and I figured with the coronavirus thing that the hand sanitizer market would go crazy, and so I bought stock in Procter and Gamble, and that's why I brought the stock. So, whatever your reason is, you'll put it there uh, here in the middle, and then finally at the bottom, you only have to do this very bottom part here for one of your companies. Now it will b on the other ones but you don't have to do it on any of the other ones you only have to do it for one of them and that is to explain why your stock is performing the way that it is now right now if you do this right now and you, you know you did this uh, early on in the assignment it's probably doing very poorly all the stocks are doing very poorly and it's probably a pretty easy thing to figure out why it's doing poorly and that's because of the coronavirus scares <clears throat> but you're going to explain here as to why it's performing the way it is and you just have to do that for all five of your stocks you have essentially two weeks to do it once it's complete you'll go back here and you'll click here and then you'll submit the assignment here if you have any questions please email me i'll be available on and off throughout the weeks. So just send me a message. And if we need to meet on on Zoom or on Google Chats or Google Hangouts and I can show you how to uh, access the stock markets, just let me know. You guys have Google Chat available to you now. So on Google, you can just send me a message, a quick message on the chat bar. And uh, we'll get it figured out. So that's the only thing that you have to do for the next two weeks. So hopefully you are staying safe and uh, finding love in a new isolation, I guess. I don't know. Well, hopefully see you guys after spring break.